and doing everything for the benefit of my family is great, sounds great, but if I'm not there, active and present, none of that matters. Mm -hmm. And I also knew that I didn't want to be the guy that committed everything to his career for his entire life and woke up 25 years later and my wife and my kids were gone because I hadn't built the relationships, the trust, the love, the leadership, right? If all I did for them was provide financially, that wasn't what I really meant when I said everything was for the benefit of my family. Guys, welcome to Keep On Pushing Story, where, yeah, man, we tell you real life stories of inspiration and motivation, stories that I'm sure you can relate to, stories that will help you to keep on pushing and live your absolute best life. And so today we're excited to welcome Brian Bogert to the segment. Brian, welcome to Keep On Pushing Stories. Man, I'm happy to be here. I love every time we get a chance to talk. <laughs> yeah, same here, my man. Um, I know, but uh, most people don't. So please, Brian, tell us what it is that you do. How do you serve and bring value to your clients? Yep. So I'm a human behavior and performance coach uh, and speaker. And I'm a, I'm a big believer that we've got to help people get really clear on who they are and really clear on the things that are important to them. And then we can start building in a very intentional life of alignment so they can live with no limits. Um, what, I, what I found in all this time of doing it is it's less about strategy and tactics. Though those things are important. It's a lot more about really helping people understand their emotional triggers and their behavioral patterns and the things that have kept them in their self-defeating path. Despite whatever level of success they've had, I have a lot of clients that earn seven figures, right? So it's externally, they're very successful, but they're also miserable and they're getting stuck in certain areas. And so what I help people do is get unstuck, right? When they feel stymied in their efforts to fill the we find ways to help them get on their path to reach their true potential, bring joy, freedom, and fulfillment back into their lives. Yeah, absolutely, man. Real success is not just about getting what you want, but wanting what you want and being happy with the person who got it all. That's right. Um, so how would someone find you, Brian, if they wanted to uh, connect? Yeah, brianbogert.com is probably the best place to do it. Um, it, on there is all, all the information about our business. Not every piece of content we've ever created is on there, but there's a lot of free stuff on there. Bogert's Bullets, a lot of articles that have been written and published in Forbes and other periodicals, um, information on our coaching programs and speaking opportunities, those types of things. And then uh, by all means, if there's inquiries or questions or a place that we can help, that's a great vet venue to be able to reach out. And we would ha be happy to jump in and help however we can. All right. Thank you for that. No. Let's get down to the crooks of the matter, my friend. What I want to know, what all of us want to know, Brian, is your keep on pushing story. We want to hear of a time when you had to overcome a significant challenge or perhaps push yourself out of your comfort zone to achieve something amazing. So please do tell us your keep on pushing story. Yeah, so it was about uh, seven years ago. And it was right after we had our first kid, it was our son. And six months went by like that. And I grew up and always said with my wife and everything that everything I was doing was for the benefit of my family. And I believed that to my core, right? And so the hours of sacrifice Right, the way that we were able to build our last business from nothing to 15 million of revenue in the span of a decade, all these things were like simply to be able to give my family freedom of choice to live their lives and not ever have to worry about food on the table, clothes on their backs, experiences that we can have together, as well as how does our family put ourselves in a position to help other people through the means that we've created. My wife and I have this philosophy on give until it hurts. So we're doing all that, but I was burning the candle at both ends before we had kids because I could. My wife and I had plenty of time on weekends and different things to be able to do stuff, but I was an early riser and a late worker. And I, I just, I was putting in a lot of hours. Six months with my son went by like that. And I'm fortunate that I saw a moment. I had a moment that I was able to just realize, okay, if six months went by this fast. The next 17 and a half years is going to go by just as fast. And doing everything for the benefit of my family is great. Sounds great. But if I'm not there, active and present, none of that matters. 
Mm -hmm. And I also knew that I didn't want to be the guy that committed everything to his career for his entire life and woke up 25 years later and my wife and my kids were gone because I hadn't built the relationships, the trust, the love, the leadership, right? If all I did for them was provide financially, that wasn't what I really meant when I said everything was for the benefit of my family, but that was the path I was on. So it was one of the first times in my life that I didn't feel like I had the skill sets or the smarts to figure it out myself. And I also realized I didn't have the right people in my life to really be able to challenge me in a way to help move through that time. So it was the first time in my life that I took a step back and realized I needed to probably hire a coach. Interviewed a bunch of coaches, most of which did not have any relevance or credibility to where I wanted to go, but I landed on one that did. And within a month of working with him, he said, Brian, you need to be doing this. I said, what are you talking about? And he said, speaking and coaching, doing it since your accident, when your arm was ripped off when you were seven years old, speaking on stages, providing perspective, motivation, and direction. You elevate and empower people and build and profits. Like that's what you do. You help people in organizations. Why would you not commit portion of your time to it? I literally responded back to him, hey, yeah, whatever, I'm paying you a lot of money not to tell me how great I am to help me figure out this other stuff. I want to spend more time with my family, not add something else on my plate. Well, we went through a process over the next nine months where we just brought over awareness and intentionality into everything I was doing and trickling it every single month until I was absolutely overwhelmed with a sign the universe sent me that I could not ignore. Every time I tell this portion, I don't even believe it myself because it just doesn't sound real. But every single day for a span of 30 days, I had someone or some organization reach out to me just to say, thank you. And they said, thank you for the impact you've had. Thank you for the perspective. Thank you for the motivation. And so I had to really go deep on an intrinsic journey to figure out where do I want to take this? Is this going to be complementary or conflicting to what I have going on in my life? And oh, by the way, why does anybody want to listen to me or learn from me? So I had to lean in and work with my coach to unpack what that looked like. And it was only a month later that I jumped in and started my coaching and speaking business that I ran alongside our other business for five years before I went and did it full time. But what's interesting is in that case, my coach told me what I needed to hear, not what I wanted to hear. He saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And I had to really go through that journey myself to understand what was keeping me stuck and actually wanting to jump in on the impact that I cared so greatly about. And I had to change everything I did to be able to spend the time intentionally with my family. I have dinner with my kids and wife six to seven nights a week now. I put my kids to bed six or seven nights a week now. We've got very intentional family time. And I didn't impact the growth of our other business or the growth of this business at all when I took a step back to spend that time with them. So I had to restructure my life. But what he also did was put me on the path that I'm committed to today, right? And so I now have a big philosophy on coaching in every area of my life. I've got a Reiki energy healer. I have a meditation coach. I have two different business coaches. I have a swim coach. I have a triathlon coach. I, literally, if there's something I don't know how to do, I have learned, bring someone in who's an expert to shorten the curve for me, help me see the things I don't see. So for example, with my swimming coach, if he can correct my form so that I can swim faster with less, that's what coaches do for us. They help us move through faster with less effort and align with who we are. So that was my keep pushing story. I had to push myself to get out of my own routines so I wouldn't lose the connection, love, light that my family could provide for me. Yeah. And, and, and certainly lose the, the possibilities and the thing that you really, really wanted, which was more time with your family. So is a lesson then that um, if you want to learn something new, you go get a coach or is it that you have to open yourself up to be challenged by people who are willing to tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. That's the lesson. Sometimes that can happen with spouses, family members, mentors, friends, not always. And that's where the role of a coach can come in. So I'm not in here saying, oh, everybody needs to go hire coaches. Yes, I've gone to the deep end and I have plenty of them in my life because I've learned the value of that. And I know that there's certain people who can't push me there, but that's it. We have to open ourselves up for external perspectives and hear things sometimes that we don't want to, but need to, and then turn into those moments to allow ourselves to grow and move through that. Um, and again, I mean, that's happened with my wife numerous times in my life. That's happened with my parents numerous times in my life. There's a lot of people I've trusted in my life. So although I'm referencing coaching, that's not the lesson. The lesson is seek alternative perspectives, find your blind spots, find where you're stuck 
and listen to those closest to you because they can help you overcome that. Wow. Thank you for that, man. Powerful story, uh, even uh, equally powerful lessons, Brian. Thank you for sharing your, your keep on pushing stories with us. Thank you, brother. Happy to be here with you. Hey, guys, if you enjoy this, if you found value in it, please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit the subscription button as, as, as well as the notification bell. You get an amazing video every time we share it. And on that note, don't forget to share it. Your friends want to be inspired as well. So share it. Don't keep it. And as always, keep on pushing.